There are many myths out there regarding tubeless. We address some of the most common ones here, but if you want to know more, let us know. Maybe your question will make it into our next video. Let's start with tape. Some people out there think that any type of tape will work. Heck, some manufacturers even recommend it. While our tape is designed for our rims, we find that it works well in most tubeless compatible and tubeless ready wheels. That's not to say that tape and sealant on its own is a conversion. For use in a more conventional ETRTO rim design, or a rim that needs more than just a couple layers of our tape, we still recommend using one of our conversion strips. Our tape is totally non-porous, which helps to retain air and keep sealant where it's supposed to be. Speaking of tubeless ready, what does that even mean? Well, there's not a real firm answer on that. In a nutshell, it means that they stray from that ETRTO rim design and are shaped more similarly to one of our rims. That means that there's a more distinct bead seat and shorter sidewalls. This design makes for an easier and more secure tubeless setup. Now, let's talk about a few misconceptions regarding sealant. Let's start with an easy one. Now, I don't know which one of you is out there spreading rumors. Dude, never gonna work. Our sealant works fine in tubes and tubular tires. Yes, even latex tubes. As long as your tube or tire has a removable valve core, you can add sealant to it. And hey, adding a little sealant's way easier than peeling off a tire and gluing on a new one, right? On to the next one. While sealant is pretty magical, it doesn't have magic powers. It does just what the name implies. It seals. It doesn't act as some sort of glue. The sealant is not what holds the tire onto the rim. The design of the rim, the beat of the tire, and the air pressure are what holds the tire on. The sealant is meant to serve a couple of purposes. One, it seals imperfections in the casing and makes it more airtight. And two, it remains liquid inside the tire, constantly moving, so that in the event of a puncture, it can find the puncture and seal the hole. Okay, Glitterati, this one's for you. We get it. You like sparkles. We like sparkles too. And while we encourage experimentation, there he is. Time. Dude. What? That's why you're late. <laughs> and won't forbid you from putting cat fur, toenails, or pulverized action figures in your tires. We find that a lot of that stuff just doesn't help. If you're having puncture problems, or the regular stuff just isn't cutting it, we have something for you. Race sealant. Twice the amount of sealing crystals and larger XL crystals. Though a little more labor intensive, Race sealant will seal just about anything. Another common thing we hear is that our sealant is corrosive. This isn't true. Our sealant is non-corrosive and non-reactive, but it is wet. If using sealant with an untreated rim or with porous tape or a porous rim strip, sealant, aka moisture, can get into the rim cavity, causing some corrosion. It doesn't matter if you're running our sealant, someone else's, or even just water in your tire. If you're using porous tape or a porous rim strip, Moisture can get through. This is where I remind you that our tape is non-porous. I know what you guys are thinking, but what about the smell? Yeah, we know. Sealant does have a certain odor to it. This is due to properties of natural liquid latex, which does have ammonia added to it in very low concentrations when harvested to prevent premature coagulation. By the time we've mixed the final product, it's less than 0.1% ammonia, which will continue to off-gas in production. Once you've opened your bottle, the smell will dissipate quickly. The last thing is something we take seriously, and you should too. The myth that any tire can be converted for tubeless use. On the mountain bike side, this is almost the case. Nearly any tire can be converted to tubeless in a low pressure application. Where this starts to fall apart are when pressures get higher. Anytime you inflate over 45 PSI, you must be using a tire specifically labeled for tubeless use. A road tubeless tire will stretch less than 3% over its life, where a regular folding bead can stretch up to 12, causing a catastrophic failure. Be sure to check pressure limitations on both the tire and rim when converting to tubeless, and remember that anytime you inflate over 45 PSI, your tire must be labeled for tubeless use.